All right, hello, hello, everybody. Happy Thursday, and welcome to that mystery game <laughs> I, uh, I had been mentioning earlier this week. Yes, Genshin Impact. Um, this is the closed beta test, uh, the final closed beta test, I should say, for the game. Um, so, yeah, I got uh, access to this, and um, I'm very much looking forward to this game. Uh, I really hope that with this being the final closed beta, that means release is soon, but I guess we'll find out. I don't exactly know uh, how long this is going to be going on for, this particular beta. I don't think the developers have stated exactly how long they intend for this one to go for. But I intend to play this as much as possible during the time uh, allotted to me. Um, so, with that being said... Um, I guess we will go ahead and click to begin. Now, I actually want to say one other thing. Um, I currently have the volume mixer for this set to like half volume, just because I haven't been able to go into the settings for the game itself yet and tweak things. So once we can, um, I'll try and adjust the audio because it looks like it's a little quiet um, on my end for the uh, the speakers. But we'll uh, we'll we'll you know we'll we'll do that once we're in the game. So, anyways, let's do it. What you're trying to say is that you fell here from another world? But when you wanted to leave and go on to the next world, your path was blocked by some unknown god? Outlanders, your journey ends here. I didn't think this was going to have English dub. Who are you? The sustainer of heavenly principles. The irrigation of mankind ends now. Oh, select a twin. Can I use a controller? I have one, like, on and connected, but I guess it's not detecting it, so I guess maybe I can't use a controller. Uh, okay, I guess we're mouse and keyboarding this. That's fine. Okay, so select a twin. Um, I don't know. Uh, I think I kind of want to go with the cool, like, angel wings one. But it looks like it will be the same either way. I don't think it matters which one I choose. I'm going to go with this one. Let your name be known. Uh, I don't know what I want my name to be. Actually, wait, hang on. What does the other one look like? Well, I guess he has angel wings, too. Alright. Can I just be CJ for now? Cool. <laughs> oh, Lumine. So I guess they have cannon names then. Wait, don't go. Give my sister back. Oh, and I got consumed. Jack wants to know how. And just like that, the god took away my sister. Some kind of seal was cast upon me, and I lost my power. So while we used to travel from world to world, we are now trapped here. Uh, Jack wants to know how I'm playing this. Uh, so I uh, got beta access. Um, I signed up. Uh, er, sorry, I signed up a while ago. Uh, for the closed beta, and uh, this was the final closed beta they're doing for the game, and I got access to it. So that is the simple answer as to how I'm playing this. Um, yeah. <laughs> how many years ago was it? I don't know. But I intend to find out. When I woke, I was all alone. 
until I met you two months ago. Yeah, Paimon really owes you for that. Otherwise, Paimon likely would have drowned. So Paimon will do her best to be a great guy. We should head off. Let's get going. I want to know if you can get access in a day. Um, as far as I am aware, uh, the you know, period to sign up for this has already passed, and this is the last closed beta that they're doing, so I don't think there's any way that he can get in right now, so he'll just probably have to wait until, um, until the game is out. Okay. So, I want to check a couple things here in the settings. So, control type. So, I can't use a controller. Okay. Um... Then I would. I'm definitely going to use a controller. I usually like to use controllers for third-person games like this. So, um, yeah. Wait. Oh, it wants me to use a PS4 controller. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Well, actually, no. I can use my Xbox. I mean, I can use my Xbox One. It should be fine. The The button should still be the same. I mean, the commands. It's just different buttons, so. So, X is return. Okay. And then B is... Okay, high FPS. Oh, it only goes up to sixty. That kind of sucks. Render resolution. I guess I'll keep everything as is. Uh, language, voiceover language. I kind of want to switch it to Japanese. I'm gonna do it. And then audio. There's just... Wait. Okay, I guess there's no options for the audio. Uh, oh, let's see here. Kaori Taco. Yes, hello. Welcome. It has been quite a while. I am doing fine myself. I hope you are well in these uh, interesting times that we're living in. Okay, so I guess there's no audio options here. So... Um, yeah. Right click or press shift to evade and hold the sprint. R1. Press to evade, hold the sprint. I can jump. Alright, well, so there are no audio options in the game, so hopefully it's not too loud. I'll just have to edit the audio. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, God, well, I can't think. Um, the volume mixer, if it is too loud. So I can jump. I can dash. And... Okay, so yeah. Well, we're on a beach for now. I guess we'll follow our guide here. Okay, I don't know what that means. Press to investigate. What am I investigating? Crab? Ocean crab. Oh, I could have apparently grabbed that. That's interesting. Hold to open the shortcut wheel and select the inventory. Dull blade. And a crab. It's a cooking ingredient. Shelled creature that lives near the ocean. It's flaky, delicious meat. Can easily be made into tasty dishes. Huh. I'm sorry, wait a minute. Hang, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Did I just see... Oh my god, you have 30,000 inventory slots? Amazing. I already love this. Okay. Oh. Uh, hello. Slime. 
thing. Dead. Yeah, yeah, I know. I gotta follow her. Oh. Teleport waypoint. Open the world map. Select and unlock teleport waypoint to teleport to that location. How do I open the world map? Probably that. Oh, right. Wait. Oh, there's also the shortcuts, right? Nope. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Because... Yeah. Okay. So, world map. How big we got here. Oh, my. This is scrolling for quite a while. Oh, my God. It's still scrolling. Holy crap. Okay. This is going to be... This is going to be quite the map. But so far we only have, like, this section. Kind of. Wow. Holy crap. Okay. Oh. Cancel. Okay. Well, we'll worry about that, uh... You know, once we have more... Oh, there's a lizard. Wait, come here. Thanks. Just grab all of the indigenous wildlife around this area. I don't know if I'll need it. Okay. Yeah, hope. You, you know what, actually? Hang on. I, I don't want to necessarily... Um, be dependent on having to read the... Uh, the uh, subtitles. So I'll leave it... I'll put it back to English. Just because sometimes the, those subtitles kind of disappeared. Some of them disappeared kind of quickly, so I wasn't able to read it, so... I'll leave it at English for now. Um, but yeah, so you can climb pretty much anything, like in Breath of the Wild. Uh, so that's cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it, <laughs> I, I don't want to draw too many comparisons to Breath of the Wild, but it is the game that it reminds me the most of. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, because uh, Breath of the Wild's pretty good. So having a more anime-oriented Breath of the Wild is, uh... Well, I'm all for it. Yep, get ingredients. I don't know when or if I'll need them, but... I assume I can make food and stuff. I kind of... It's a little unfortunate that... <clears throat> it only is up to 60 FPS, but, I mean, hey, it's, I guess, really all you need. Oh, lizard. Maybe that'll be different in the final release. It's definitely still a little rough around the edges. Got some bit of stuttering. Oh, wow. Oh, dude, is this our overview? Yep, here we go. Genshin Impact. That's a statue of the seven. There are a few of these statues scattered across the land to show the seven's protection over the world. Among the seven gods, this god controls the wind. Paimon's not sure whether the god you're looking for is the animal god, but Paimon will take you to the animal god's place first, and there's a reason why. Prologue Act 1, the outlander who caught the wind. As we all know, poetry and language flow like the wind. 
There'll definitely be someone there who knows about your sister. At least that's what Paimon thinks. Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. You never know unless you try. So let's hop to it. Can I cut grass? No. <laughs> Doesn't really get rid of it. Wait. Small creature, hello. Yes, can I be your friend? Can I pet you? I'm following a cute little squirrel thing. I don't know. All right, fine. Coming. <clears throat> Sweet flower. You can swim right over. Yep, I figured. Is it you stamina? Only if you fast swim. Okay, got it. So is this going to be like a watchtower kind of thing? Reveal the map for me. That did, but okay, sweet. It did reveal parts of the map. Okay, so we got Cider Lake, the Stormbearer Mountain, Stormbearer Point, Star Snatch Cliff, the Thousand Winds Temple. That sounds nice. Whispering Woods and Mondstadt. Looks like our first major like village. All right. Ooh, did you just feel the elements of the world? Seems all you had to do was just touch the statue, and you got the power of animal. As much as they may want it, people in this world can never get a hold of powers as easily as you. It's a bit rude to say that about the power the gods just gave you. If we keep heading west from here, we'll eventually reach Mondstadt, the city of freedom. Mondstadt is the city of wind because they worship the god of Animo. So perhaps because you got power from the god of Animo, you can find some clues there. There are also lots of bards there, so Ooh. perhaps one of them has heard news of your sister. I like Let's bards. Move, then. The elements in this world responded to your prayers, and Paimon thinks that's a lovely sign. I quite enjoy bards. Oh, wait, no, don't. Wait, R2 button. Press to unleash elemental skill. Oh, okay. That was cool. Hold to charge the elemental skill. <laughs> Unleash elemental burst. Disappear. Ooh. <laughs> These are the animal powers you got okay. from the Statue of the Seven. Tavat fried egg. Uh, Paimon's so jealous. Why doesn't Paimon get cool fighting powers? Also, I really like how my sword just kind of floats on my back, a la, like, near Automata when I'm not using it. That's it's pretty cool. Also, okay, press to call Paimon and then view the controls and settings. View controls. Paimon's bargains. Okay. I can get some stuff, I guess. That's cool. Some equipment and whatnot. Friends, party setup, inventory. Okay. Time. Okay, cannot currently adjust the time. I have mail. Here's your daily gift, a little thank you for logging in today. Claim your gift in the attachment. Thank you for your support, traveler. Okay, cool. Got some login rewards. And then notices. Final closed beta server online. Uh, final closed beta is now underway. It's a limited access beta at the end of which all user data will be deleted. Uh, still in development. 
period, period, seven, okay. It, it's interesting how they're not telling us when this beta is ending exactly, but, um, you know, oh my, that is a lot of stuff. There's a battle pass in this game? Why? What? Weird. I, uh, I don't know what all, what all of this is exactly. Ballad and goblets. Alright, well, we'll worry about reading stuff later, maybe. Uh, okay. Character. Can I, like, customize how I look? Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about this right now. Until the game tells me to. Alright. Go to Mondstadt. We will do that then. Collect all the things on the way. Oh, hey. Hold open the shortcut wheel. Oh, what the heck? Uh. I. I noticed. It's headed towards the heart of the forest. We must proceed with caution. Yeah, I agree. I don't think I want to get eaten by that. Okay, so wait. Hold open the shortcut wheel and access the character screen. Equip artifacts. Uh. Okay, wait. So, here. Traveling doctor's medicine pot. Equip. Alright. I guess it's just like a passive thing. Probably. Oh, hey. We've got some, uh... Some lads here. Level two? Well, easy. Let's do it then. Why did that not hit you? Combat knowledge? bad. Let's steal their stuff. Can I break these? Yes. Yes, I can. Oh, and there was a chest here. Sweet. Got some food. Enchantment ore. I really don't know what half of this stuff is for, but yeah. Adventurer's bandana. Wanderer's advice. Alright, also combat knowledge. Obtaining energy. Absorb elemental orbs and elemental particles to replenish energy. Dealing ele elemental damage to defeated enemies or performing other actions might also generate elemental orbs. Okay. Oh, I can, like, zoom in the camera. Okay, wait. Uh, got more artifacts. Base attack. Yeah, so these are just passives. I mean, you know, that's good though. Good to have them. Cool. And it looks like, yeah, there's set bonuses too. So I have the adventurer set bonus since I have two artifacts from the adventurer set. So I have max HP increased by a thousand. Well, that's pretty good, I'd say. Some more food. Might need it later. You never know.
Hello, Mr. Slime. Wait, a bird egg. Yeah, I'll have that, sure. Can I charge my melee attack? Uh, I don't think so. Holding it just kind of made me do that spin. So if you do, if you hold it, you have like a different attack, but you don't really charge an attack. All right, well, I need to go into... Oh, <laughs> there's a lizard. <clears throat> yeah, I need to go <clears throat> into this forest with the uh, giant spooky dragon thing that just went into it. That's, you know, might not be the best idea to go this way. But I guess the game wants me to go this way because... Oh boy, yep, here we go. Excuse me. Oh, goodness. Huh? Look at that. Mm, there he is. Oh. Don't be afraid. It's all right now. I'm back. Is he talking to a dragon? <gasps> Who's there? Uh, are we doing this? Mm, okay, good. No, we're not. I don't think I would have been able to kill that thing, to be honest. That was close. Paimon almost got blown away. Luckily, Paimon managed to grab hold of your hair. Thanks. Just what was that? Paimon thought we were going to get eaten. Hmm. It definitely has something to do with that weirdo who was talking to the dragon. Is talking to dragons normal? <sighs> of course not. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, what's that? There's some kind of shiny red thingy on the big rock over there. Let's go take a closer look. Okay. Be careful. Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about this. Crimson Crystal. Paimon's never seen a stone like this before, so Paimon can't tell what it is. All Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best we put it away for now. Oh, okay. Okay, we've got it. Now let's get out of here. Adventure rank three. Keep heading toward Mondstadt. Some apples. Mushroom. Oh, and another cutscene. Hey, you! Stop right there! Oh, I know who this is. Sort of. From the promotional stuff for this game. May the Animo God protect you, stranger. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. Explain yourselves. Well, we're not looking for trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a local name to me. And this mascot, what's the deal with it? Emergency food. No, 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 we're friends. I mean, we've only been traveling partners for two months, but we've already become the very best of friends. So to sum it up, you're traveling partners, right? Well, look, there's been a large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. Best you get inside the city as soon as possible. It's not far from here. I'll escort you there. Oh, aren't you out here for some other reason? I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that too. Besides, I'm still not sure if I can trust you two just yet. Uh, it's a rather rude way to speak to guests. Seems like you don't particularly trust us. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Probably not something I should say as a knight. I give you my apologies, uh, strange yet respectable travelers. That sounded so fake. Do you have something against the type of language usage prescribed by the Knights of Havonius Handbook? <laughs> Obtained amber? Oh, wait, what? Obtained amber? What do you mean? Switch to amber. Oh! Hold enter aiming mode. Oh, you have a bow? Sweet, okay. 
suspicious travelers. What are you doing in Mondstadt? He got separated from his sister during a really, really long journey. Paimon is his travel buddy, helping him to find his sister. Oh, looking for your family? Huh. Yeah, hold on. Before you go on with that thought, I need to switch my weapon. Okay, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. character weapon. Yeah, silver sword. Sword for chasing away demons. Everyone knows it's made of a silver alloy, not pure silver. And then what does Amber have? Oh my god. Okay, let me finish my other stuff first, and then I can help you put up posters around the city. What exactly is it you need to finish doing first? It's simple. You'll understand in a bit. If you say so, Amber. Uh, wait, no, no, no. What was I going to do? Um, no, I wanted to see what stuff Amber had. Hunter's bow. Constellation. Talents. Normal attack marksmanship. Explosive puppet. Fiery rain. I don't have these two. I mean, she's a bow, so I kind of already want to play as her more, because I like range stuff. Okay. And then I can go into aiming mode and fire like a... What the heck? Wait, what? Placing elemental skills. Some elemental skills produce different effects depending on whether you press or hold them. Okay. What is this thing? Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> it, it explodes. Alright. So, if I'm not zoomed in, I throw one of those. But if I am zoomed in, I can just have like a charge shot. Okay, that's cool. And then I have just basic shots for my basic attack. Neat. Alright, I like it. Yeah, I'll play as Amber for a little bit. Grab some more apples. Oh, wait. I can climb the tree. That's cool. Oh, right. Okay, wait. Characters. So I have, like, wind, and she has fire. Okay. What are the other options here? Character, inventory, these quests. Yeah, those are quests. And then what is this? Oh. I don't know what that was. Some type of weird pulse thing. Maybe it reveals treasure or something if it's hidden. I don't know. Go to the location designated by Amber. Squirrel. Hi, squirrel. Oh, I've got another one of these. Uh, a hilly turtle. Quick, get it! Can I lock on? Oh, I guess the game kind of auto-locks on for me. These monsters have been getting too close to the city recently. My task this time is to clear out their camp. All right. It's simple enough, I think. Got him, but he's not dead. Oh, it distracts them. That missed. Oh, wait. No, I wanted to read that Nothing tip. To it. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. Though, I've got to say, you surprised me a little with your moves there. Thanks for the backup. How'd it feel? 
Uh, barely broke a sweat. Now that you mention it, how is it the hilly trails ended up here? These creatures don't seem like the type to set up camp so close to cities like this. Exactly. It's more normal for them to be much further out in the wilderness. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around a lot more recently, our orchards have been destroyed and the local market has been affected as well. When the storms hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries. So the Knights of Favonius have been tied up doing the best they can to defend the area. So these annoying creatures have been getting closer and closer to the city? Exactly. That said, clearing this camp helped make the area a little bit safer. Come with me. A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safely. Very elemental reactions. About pyro. Pyro attacks can use... Can cause beings to become affected by pyro. When pyro meets other elements, it often triggers an elemental reaction. Aim shots are great for making precision attacks on enemies' weak spots. For most humanoids, aim for the head. Yeah. When pyro meets dendro, it triggers burning, which continuously deals pyro damage until it wears off. Dendro? Is that like Earth, I guess? Probably. Okay. Jean will be upset if she catches up. Sorry, what were you saying? I cut you off there. Oh, I guess she's not going to talk. Okay. Adventurer's tail feather. I wonder, is that for any character, or... Yeah, it can be. I'll just give it to Amber, though, since she doesn't have any yet. Okay, cool. I'll do it a pine cone. You know, I don't feel bad about picking up all this stuff because I have a lot of inventory space, so, yeah. I'm the survival expert of the Adventurers Guild. Let's make an offering and see if the gods respond. Lynn, which I cook next. Survival expert at the Adventurers Guild, as you can see, I'm experimenting with some new recipes. Eat before you go. The first rule in the Wilderness Survival Guide. You can only cook a few simple dishes. That's true. We'll get a lot of chances like this to learn from a survival expert. There are some mushrooms and meat in the barrel over there. Try making a chicken mushroom skewer for me. What barrel? I see no barrel, but I probably already have the things to cook, so. Oh, wow. Okay. There's already a lot of uh, recipes here. So what are we making? A skewer? That's pretty easy, yeah. So there's 8 to 10% of max HP and an additional 750 to 1100 HP to the selected character. A skewer of mushrooms and poultry. Fresh poultry is complemented. By fragrant mushrooms. Don't be picky. Chow down. Alright, so cook. Cooking ingredients required. Okay, that's easy. I assume it probably gets more difficult, though. And maybe more steps. <clears throat> the, uh... The heart of their... Like, the heart of the dishes. Okay, well, I did it. Smells good. Nom nom. <laughs> Nervous gulp. You're indeed gifted. Through culinary skills, you should try more difficult dishes. I've got raw ingredients in my bag. Have them in return for this meal. Alright. There's our little cooking tutorial. What is this? I don't know, but it looks kind of important. Or spooky. Maybe, maybe both. 
Alright, can we go in here? Temple of the Falcon. Recommended party level 20. Oh, okay. Never mind then. We are not doing that. But at least we know it's there. Yeah, let's just head over to the city. But yeah, this is a, um, you know, very nice, colorful looking game. Like I said, I mean, you can kind of tell that it's still in beta. There's a couple of issues, but nothing game breaking or anything. I'm sure they'll have them all fixed by the time the full game is out. Which, again, hopefully isn't too far out. I don't know. I guess we'll see how long this beta lasts for and see what the developers say. Timmy. Hi, Timmy. They'll be back. Oh. Uh, okay. Daddy issues. Okay, yep. Nope. I am not qualified to deal with that. I'm just going to keep walking. I'm going to pretend like I didn't... Uh, I, I was never here. this. Alright, fine. Swan and Lawrence. Can I just walk in? Uh, tell me about Mondstadt. Known as both the crown of the north and the city of pastoral song, there are no words that can truly describe the beauty of this city. A new bard arrived in the city not long ago. You should seek him out if you want to feel the true essence of Mondstadt. But the songs he plays are a bit archaic. The songs date back thousands of years. No clue as to how he knows them. Any legends about Mondstadt, or are there any antidotes about Mondstadt? You come to the right person. It's said in Mondstadt, a righteous hero often appears at night, but no one knows his true identity. I should stop there, or else I'll keep talking about him. If the acting Grand Master catches me chatting on duty again... Sorry, I guess I'll talk to you next time. Okay, what about you, Swan? <gasps> I'm so sorry, I did not mean to swing my weapon at you. <laughs> Anything the knights can do for you? Who are you? I must perform sentry duty... Provide any necessary assistance to our business visitors in accordance with the Knights of Favinus Handbook. The Knights of Favinus Handbook is our instructional guide and also the cornerstone of peace and prosperity in Mondstadt. Alright. Mondstadt! Oh, cutscene time. Oh, audio cut out there for a second. Introduce the city of wind, dandelions, and freedom. Travelers under the protection of the Knights of Havonius, welcome to Mondstadt. Finally, no more having to camp outdoors. But the city folk don't look too cheery. Everyone's been put out of place by storm terror recently. But everything will turn out fine as long as Jean's with us. Jean? Acting Grand Master of the Knights of Havonius. Jean, Defender of Mondstadt. With Jean on our side, surely even the vicious Storm Terror will be no match for us. Before I take you guys to the Knights of Havonius headquarters, I have a present for you, Traveler. It's a reward for helping me clear out that Hillitrol camp. H hey! Why doesn't Paimon get a reward? Uh, because this reward is useless to you, Paimon. But I'll treat you to a traditional Mondstadt delicacy. Sticky Honey Roast. Sticky Honey Roast? Come with me. We'll head to the city's, uh, high ground. High ground. It's over, Anakin. The quest menu. Navigate to the current quest objective. Okay, just puts like a... Oh, that's nice. It puts like a GPS marker for you. This used to be a bustling street, but with so many storm terror attacks recently, the usual crowds are nowhere to be seen. Except for the local tavern near the city wall over there. They haven't been affected. If anything, their business is better than ever.
Oh, there's a teleport thing over there. Probably should go grab that. So these are the teleport things, right? Yeah, so I can teleport to these things, all right? What do you mean teleport? I don't want to teleport right now, game. But I guess it, it wants me to teleport, so fine. I'll try it out. Oh, that's quick. There's no loading screen or anything. No animation either, but, well, maybe there will be. <laughs> maybe there's just not one right now. A nice city. Seems like there's a lot of like shops and stuff, but I guess I probably shouldn't try and do anything right now. Just kind of go to where Amber wants me to. She'll probably just give me like an overlook of the town or something since we are going to the high ground, apparently. It's a nice statue. Can I climb the statue? Hold on, I kind of want to see if I can climb the statue. Elemental reactions. Wet environments and hydro attacks can cause beings to become affected by hydro. Uh, when hydro meets other elements, it often triggers an elemental reaction. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. I can climb the statue. I don't know if I have enough stamina to necessarily get to the top, but I kind of want to try. So, I'm going to. Maybe. Alright, let's see. I might be able to like, stand up here. I wonder if there's like an item or something in her hands. Come on, you can do it. You can make it. Oh, wait, okay. I'll stay here, get some more stamina. Ooh, okay, that hurt. Does my health regen, or do I have to eat food? I'm not in combat, so I don't know if it's going to regen or not. No, it doesn't look like it will. Okay. But, that's why we have food. Apprentice notes. Enchant or enhancement ore, not enchantment ore. Gives a thousand XP. Huh. Interesting. Sweet madame. Just go ahead and do that. Okay. All right, Amber. Sorry, I was um, trying to climb a big statue. So the present I want to give you is a wind glider. Oh hell yeah! It really is Breath of the Wild. Outriders use them to ride the wind, and the people of Mondstadt love using them too. I brought you here to give it to you, so you can experience it right away. Oh, you're really excited about these wind gliders, huh? Well, that's because the wind is the heart and soul of Mondstadt. Uh, alrighty then, enough talk. Let's give it a whirl. It's easy to use, but you still need to pay attention to my instructions. Okay. Move forward. X button, glide while airborne. Ooh, that looks cool. You get like wings.
Hello, I am here. <laughs> cool. Oh. Uh, that's probably bad, right? Yeah, that's that's probably bad. Okay. Well, good thing I <laughs> I literally just got this glider thing. Otherwise, this would have been bad. Oh, wait. I'm preventing your fall with the power of a thousand winds. Now, concentrate. See yourself grasping the wind. Harness its energy. This is cool. It's like an on-rail shooter. Storm terror, howling hurricane of Mondstadt. Okay, yeah, this is really cool. Reminds me of Kid Icarus Uprising. Luckily, he's not putting that much of a fight. Oh, but now he might. I'm back. Easy peasy. Are you hurt? You've actually got the power to go up against the dragon. Are you a new ally? Or a new storm? What? What do you mean storm? Storm terror is attacking Mondstadt itself! Kaya, Traveler, you've come at the right time. We must... Hold on, Amber. Are you perhaps forgetting to introduce us? Oh, right. This is Kaya, our cavalry captain. These two are travelers from afar. From afar? Is that all we know of them? Uh, long story short... I see. Welcome to Mondstadt. Uh, though you haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. I understand the anguish of being separated from family. I'm not really sure why you're looking for the Animo God. Oh, but everyone has their secrets, right? <laughs> Relax. I won't press you for more. First and foremost, on behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I would like to extend our thanks to you for your help just now. Your fight to defend the city against the dragon just now was witnessed by no small number of citizens. The acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius is also very interested in meeting you, and formally invites you both to our headquarters. Wait, what? People were able to see? I, I don't know, dude. We were, like, pretty high up in the air. I have a hard time believing lots of people were able to see that, but eh, whatever. I'll just let that slide for now. Be the Knights of Favonius headquarters. Let's head in. All right, into the Knights headquarters we go. Talk to some chivalric people. There have been sightings of storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must. Jean, what's the hurry? I thought we agreed to meet them here. There have been sightings of storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must... Relax. 
relax. Uh, I'll lend a hand when the time comes. That line repeated. Interesting. Weird. Whatever. Jean, I brought them. <laughs> and once it was over, I brought them straight here. Mom's that welcomes you, windborn travelers. I am Jean, acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. This is Lisa, our resident. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Are you sweeties here to help us out? You didn't even let her finish her line, do or Lisa. <laughs> You're both so adorable. Sadly, the timing is regrettable. Storm terror has caused quite a ruckus in the region since its recent resurgence. Simply put. Mondstadt's elemental sphere and ley lines are now akin to a yarn ball in the paws of a kitten. Ley lines. For a mage, it couldn't get much worse. My skin is one elemental particle away from a full-blown breakout. <sighs> if it weren't for this interference, the Knights of Favonius would have better ways to help you than just putting up missing person posters. We simply ask that you repose in Mondstadt while we help you seek out your sister. Uh, yeah. Paimon will help too. Good. In that case, we need a plan. With Storm Terror now directly attacking Mondstadt, we may have an opportunity to cut this problem off at the source. Lisa has revealed the sources of Storm Terror's power with her detection magic. Is that so? They're located in the abandoned Four Winds Temples. Storm Terror's ability to whip up these kinds of storms can be attributed to it drawing power from the temples. Our objective is to deal with three of the four temples. I trust everyone understands why we are only dealing with three. Paimon doesn't. Uh, yeah. I... Knights of Favonius, time is against us. The storm is rampant. There's no point in maintaining a defensive position. All right. We need to take initiative and act before the situation escalates. Oh. Wish. Wish feature has been unlocked. Wish upon the... Wait, I wanted to read that. What is this? I don't know what this is. Details? No time limit closes after 20 wishes. Non promotional characters and weapons are available in beginners which ten wish sets cost twenty percent less. A quaint fate in your first ten wish set is guaranteed to include chivalric blossom Noel Geo. Okay. I I really wish I could have read the thing. I don't... I don't know what's... I don't know what I'm looking at here. Is there like a tutorial thing I can look at again? Uh... There's a thing for Wish. But that's just gonna bring me back here. Okay, I assume this is the... My friend mentioned to me that there's like a gotcha thing in this, so I assume this is what that is. It looks like it. The only thing is, is I don't know how... How am I supposed to... Additional seven acquaint fate are needed. No. So I only have one of these things. Alright, well, I guess I'll just do this one then, since it only needs one. Bloodstained Greatsword and an extra Masterless Stardust times 15. Okay. Uh, cool. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I wish I would have been able to read more about that. But yeah, there's just like a gotcha thing in this. Um. Can I even... No. Can I even use that sword as this character? No. Oh my god, I keep pressing the wrong button. 
Okay, so I have to meet Amber at the temple. But let's uh let's take some loot here, some books. I'm sure they don't mind. I don't know if the books do anything other than just having like stories and lore or whatever, but I'll take them. They might be interesting. All right, any more shinies in here? As a novice within the Knights of Favonius, your understanding of the wind is absolutely crucial. Leave the advanced wind glider training to me. Meet Amber at the temple. Okay, I mean, I guess we can talk to some other people, though. Uh, hi, John. We fight it's Storm Terror. change in size and power really is suspicious. But for the Knights of Favonius, our priority is to deal with the aftermath of this attack. The Grandmaster entrusted the Knights of Favonius to me. I can't let him or the people of Mondstadt down. I must get to the bottom of this. Okay. And hello, Lisa. How do we... guess I'd like to know more about monsters. The monsters out in the wild? We've got many resources here in the library. Making good use of elemental advantages is the key to winning any battle. By the way, would you be interested in having a part-time job here? We need people to... We need people for doing... We just need more people. Hmm. And then... Kaya. Okay, uh... How you doing? Uh, <laughs> how'd you get your eye patch? Um, I don't think I should ask him that. See you later then. Nah. Okay, let's just let's just go. Wait, can I like? Oh wow. Okay, I didn't know there was more to search in here. Oh god, there's so many more books. I mean, whatever. I'm just gonna grab them all. Because I've got plenty of inventory space. This is pretty nice looking. Look. Wait, Ella Musk. Oh, I <laughs> hello. I didn't even see you. Yika Gushamusi. Come again. Ella Musk, scholar of Hilaturian linguistics. That was Hilaturian for hello there. Have you eaten? Hilaturian linguistics is severely underdeveloped as an academic discipline, so I still have a lot of questions regarding the exact meaning of certain words. The biggest gap in Hilaturian linguistics is field work. If I had the chance to communicate face to face with a Hilatural, it would shed light on so many burning questions. It's just. It's difficult to find anyone who would ever dare to approach a Hilatural, let alone try to talk to them. If someone could test out my theories on my behalf, that would be great. Can I? Uh, I guess not. Nyamita deyamosi zido. Goodbye, have a nice trip. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, well, it seemed like maybe she was going to give me like a quest or something there, but I guess not. So, I'll just keep taking books. Oh, the fox and the... No, I don't know what that one... Okay, do I see any more shinies? I think we've obtained all the shinies. Wait. <laughs> nope, there's another shiny over here. Alright, so let's just see. How many books do I have in my inventory? Where are they? Oh yeah, there we go. But it's cool that you could just, you know, just read some books. The Fox and the Dandelion Sea. Hmm. Well, my friend's probably going to like that one. He likes foxes. A lot. Okay, well. Oh wait, more books up here. You know what? 
I'll worry about collecting these later. Uh, I'm just gonna continue onward. Is there anything in here? Or is it just the room that I was in? Okay, can't open that door. And I cannot go up there. Okay. Alright, and I am back. So, I'm actually curious. So, can I change how my character looks? Um, I'm assuming not, because it doesn't profile, maybe? I don't know nothing on that tab. Birthday zero zero. Is there any information for Amber there? Oh yeah, she just has a bunch of stuff. I just don't because I'm from another world, I guess. That's why. Okay. Um. I don't think there's anything else I need to check here. So let's uh continue on with our quest then to the temple. Paimon, the best travel companion ever. Maybe. I mean, she's not really that annoying. Access the character screen. Enhance weapons in the character screen. Uh, wrong one. Enhance weapon. Auto add enchantment materials. Enhance. Okay. So it added like my old weapon and a couple of other things to enhance it. Okay, cool. Can we enhance this one? Nah. Well, let us head over to the temple then. Let's see what we can do. <clears throat> Actually, there might be a thing we can fast travel to that would help. Yeah, let's teleport there. Okay, now there is a loading screen. I guess just because we were so close to the other one before, there wasn't a loading screen. But even then, the loading's not that lo long, so it's not too bad. It's a big old tree over there. Sup, Amber. This is it. One of the deserted temples of the Four Winds. These temples have been left to waste for years now. The people of Mondstadt almost never come here. There's a chance there's a monster nest or hillatrol camp inside. <sighs> Even Storm Terror has given up on its own temple. Yes, I also find it hard to accept, but Storm Terror was once one of the Four Winds. Huh. Yeah, me too, Paimon. Wait! Did you just feel that? The wind here. Something's off. Let's go in and take a look. Be careful. The dragon's power is disturbing this area. Wasn't this like that level 20 area, though? Aren't I gonna get, like, absolutely demolished? Shall I go in here? Oh. I see two different things. This one is fine. Okay, cool. So you can set up your party. You can have presets. Nice, nice. Alright, well, I mean, nice. me and Amber are the only characters I have, so let's go. Cool, so I guess this is like our first actual like dungeon. <clears throat> Five categories of artifacts exist. Each set includes an Never mind. You can use that console to open the door. What? How did that work? Wow, I can see so far into the temple. Amber has the ability to aim and shoot while aiming her arrows will accumulate charge. Once fully charged, the arrow will be imbued with pyro. Alright, well, I guess I'm switching to Amber then. Why 
Wander's advice. Not sure what that is. Might be a character item. Yeah, it is an artifact. That one is an adventurer's tail feather. And that is an adventurer's flower. So we'll give her that so she can have the two piece set bonus. An elemental burst. Note using elemental burst consumes all of that character's energy. Okay. Yeah, so. Door of Resurrection activated. Okay, so I guess if I die, that's probably like a respawn. Use elemental sight to see the elemental attributes of different objects. Each element has its own color. Oh, that's what the pulse thing is. Green symbolizes Dendro, which can be ignited by Pyro. Opponents' wooden shield are attributed to Dendro, which can be used. Ignited with pyro skills, rendering them defenseless. Okay. Explosive puppet. What? What are you talking about? Oh, you know, it's probably that thing that she throws, actually. Adventure's golden goblet. Wooden shield, hillacrow, guard. Okay. Artifact for you. Hmm. Oh, as I said, I'm not sure what doing this is going to accomplish, but there's a charger chest, so that's nice. Okay, what is the Wanderer's device? Is that stuff that just gives me XP? I think it is. Yeah, it just gives you XP, so I need to use those. What level are my characters? No, I don't want to leave. Wrong thing. Level 3 out of 20, level 5 out of 20. Level up. Okay, so you can just use... There's a bunch of these types of items. Let's get Amber to... Wait. Okay. Now she's level 4. Almost level 5, so I'll use, like... One more. Cool. Level five. Now we're kind of even. Actually, she's a little bit ahead now, so. Can I burn that? Maybe. Nope. Guess not. Are those explosive barrels over there? Yeah, I think they are. Well, one shot should be able to blow them up. Yep. Some wheat. 
and another potato. Dungeon potatoes. Is that a... Oh, it's a radish. I thought it was a leek. Traveling Doctor Silver Lotus. This is going to be powerful enough, but... Yep. Okay. No, it is. I won't let you down. All right. Yeah, I've got some goodies over here, it would seem. Up currents continue soaring up high in an instant. Just jump in, open your wind glider, and enjoy the ride. over here. I just wanted to check. Wait, that door is closed. Uh. Huh. Okay, that might be a problem. I won't let you down. Okay, good. It opened. I don't know why it was closed, but at least it opened. Okay, I guess those are just indestructible. Cool. That. Dragon's breath. Is that where the power is coming from? Great. Let's smash it. Okay. If you say so. Ew, I'm tired. But at least this way we've helped Jean out. In the past, we were at least able to defend the city and keep it safe. This, of course, is mostly thanks to Jean. But now with Storm Terror directly attacking the city itself, the winds change. So too should our tactics. Sounds deep. It's what Lisa likes to say. Speaking of which, the four winds we were discussing earlier? If you want to learn more about our history, you can ask Lisa. I'm not saying I don't know our history. It's just... I mean, a librarian is supposed to be more knowledgeable than an outrider. Right? Probably. A luxurious chest. That was a pretty easy dungeon. What do we get? Seasoned Hunter's Bow, Enchantment Ore, and more XP paper. Alright, well, at least we got a new weapon for you. And I'll go ahead and enhance it as well. And back out into the world we go. Oh, great. I'm going to, have to go meet Kaya at the temple. Nice pop in. No, that doesn't work right. Okay. Just checking something on my end. It's a very nice looking game. Nothing like mind blowing, but. Oh, wait. Something mad at me. The music changed. Am I in combat? I don't know. Wait, 
Wait, what? Hello. Where are you? Oh. Wait. What? Where'd it go? Small plant creature thing. Where? Where? Oh, wait. I heard it. Is this a Korok? I know you're a thing. Can I hit it? Oh, now I can. It's on fire. Hmm. Maybe if I hit it with a sword? Yeah, that's better. Iron chunk. Okay, cool. Turn into a multitude of handy items in the hands of a skilled... Probably blacksmith or something. Forge. The sentence didn't really finish. But, you know. Wind rise. I'm gonna go get that teleport. Oh, wait. There's another little sneaky dude over here. I see you! <laughs> oh, and more of you. Sorry, little slimes, that I'm bullying you. But, you know, gotta do what I gotta do for XP. What? Wait, what is this? Oh, it's one of those consolidated wind things. Substance that has accumulated Let's in... Let's head back to the statue of the Seven at Windrise and offer it to the gods. Well, you should come with me. Paimon will tell you about the rest later. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, this isn't a teleport thing. Yeah, this is one of the god statues. Okay, well... Yeah, definitely need to get this so I can reveal the map. It's a statue of the seven. The statue of the seven seems to be affected by a monster nearby. Really? So does that mean we can't? This world itself. The world opens itself before those with noble hearts. Okay, cool. Gale Song Hill, Falcon Coast. We're in Windrise right now, but we don't really need to keep going this way. Musk Grief. That's probably got something. Probably got a legendary Pokemon or something there. Worship statue, statue's blessing. Auto recover when nearby. Uh. I'm not gonna mess with that. What is this little star icon on the map? It's like a point of interest or something. I don't know. There's a pyro thing over there, though. Probably need to activate all of them. But I don't have ice. And I don't have, um... Whatever element that is. But there is a chest here, so that's kind of cool. Wait. Wait a minute, did I just get a buster sword? Apparently I have a new artifact. No, I can only use like normal swords, I guess the, like, great swords or whatever. I just can't use them on my main character. Alright, well, yeah. We got a new part of the map, but we don't really need to be here right now. So, let's just keep on moving towards our objective. Also, there's, like, a little enemy camp up here. Dodge. 
elemental reaction vaporize. When pyro meets hydro, vaporize occurs. The target will no longer be affected by pyro and hydro once vaporize occurs until they are applied again. When anima meets certain other elements, it can trigger swirl. Swirl can deal elemental damage, affect beans, and generate further elemental reactions. Oh, I can cook here. Nice. What's this? It's like a water stone. Some more artifacts. A firm arrowhead. More artifacts for you. Oh, she has a four-piece set bonus for adventure. Opening a chest regenerates 30% max HP over five seconds. Yeah, not bad. What is this? Okay, so there's this little, like, white star icon on the map, and I th think... Is this it? Is this what the icon is? Yeah, it is. You can, uh, you can gather, like, those little elemental thing. Wait, what? I see you. Come on. Come on out. Don't be shy. Come on. No? Okay, fine. Oh, wait! Okay, got him. Because the music changes, so I'm like, oh, I'm in combat, but it's because those little dudes are, like, kind of aggro on me. Kind of not. There's a teleport thing up there. Can I even get to that one? I don't know. I don't have Revali's Gale, so... <laughs> I don't know if I can make it up... Well, I can just climb it, that's right. Well, I don't even know if I'll be able to climb this. Uh, no, it's too steep. What about this side? Well, I'm gonna run out of stamina. Yep. Okay. Well, let me let me just try this side of the wall. It's relatively flat, so I should be able to climb it just fine. Waypoint, got a chest. I see, like, there's a chest down there, and then there's one here, but it has, like, a weird aura around it? Sigil thing? I don't know, is that a curse or something? Can I light these? Yes, I can. Okay, so if I light all of these, I can probably open the chest. There's another one somewhere. Oh, right there. Hey! Cool. Got some stuff. What are you? Are you an enemy? Mysterious Seelie. Mysterious beings called Seely can be found scattered all across Tavot. If you follow them and help them get to their final destination, perhaps something special may happen. Oh, okay. Well, let's follow it then. Okay. What in the world? Disappear. I was not ready for that, but all right. They're getting kind of wrecked by my magic. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice. All the loot was worth it, I'd say. Elemental reaction overloaded. When pyro meets electro, overloaded occurs. The resulting explosion deals AoE pyro damage and tears effortlessly through otherwise sturdy objects. Got some more stuff here. 
Although I don't think any of it... I can't really use any of it. Can I have anything for this slot? Well, Amber's using it, so... Adventurer's Pocket Watch. I mean, I have a better one, so I might as well equip it. Same here. Got a better one of those. Equip that one. Okay. Alright. Um, I'm going to try and say I'm not going to get distracted anymore and head to my quest objective, but... Uh, <laughs> I, uh, it's kind of easy to get distracted in games like this, whenever you see something cool. For example, there's something cool looking over here. Level 9. I could probably take him. Oh no, I'm frozen. Oh. weapon. I don't know, but I'll take it. Alright, you are casting magic. And I don't like that. Alright, and now just you. None of that. Yep, easy. And now I can get this chest. Okay. Really, though, come on. Get to where we need to be. Hey, what's up, Kaya? Got another dungeon, I suppose. Wait, why is this on fire? Plants? Did you do this? Oh. What? Okay, what is this? Elemental reaction frozen. When cryo meets hydro, frozen occurs. Frozen beans are rendered immobile and... Er, but also become rock hard. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. Elemental reaction vaporized. Vaporized itself does not inflict damage. However, the pyro... Or hydro attack that triggers vaporize deals increased damage and about cryo. Being hit by a cryo attack leaves the victim afflicted with cryo and decreases their movement speed. When cryo meets other elements, it often triggers an elemental reaction. There's a lot of stuff to keep in mind with the elemental stuff in this. Also, I'm on fire. <gasps> Not anymore. You've arrived. Sure have. Come closer. Can you smell that? Uh, no. Something must have happened in the temple. I imagine there will be slimes, hilly churls, and whatever's giving Storm Terror extra power. Oh yes, it is going to be lively in there indeed. As bustling as it may be, no, I can't imagine it will be dangerous at all. It's a pity that the Temple of the Wolf has been disturbed by such an atrocity. Let's head in. No one makes offerings to the Four Winds anymore, yet the old winds never vanish. We need to clear out the temples for the Four Winds. All right. Well then, let's do it. Temple of the Wolf. Alright. Deep within the Temple of the Wolf. 
Dungeon time. Do we have any... Does, do we have Kea now on our team? No, still just us? Okay, whatever. Let's go. Me and Amber are more than enough to take care of this. Let me show you how the Knights of Favonius conquer our adversaries. Wait, now are you on our party? Oh! Yes, you are. Okay. So... No, wait. Trial. Oh, you also use a sword. Ooh, you have ice. Sweet. I already like you. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, the end of the temple should be up there. Delicious apple. Wait, how do you know? <laughs> experience. The kind of experience you get after years of dealing with things like this for others. Cryo skills can freeze water, hydro opponents, or opponents that are wet. Utilize this elemental reaction to gain an advantage over your opponents. Alright. Nice. Ooh. I have like a teleport strike. <laughs> That's cool. Traveler, unless I'm mistaken, you don't seem to have a vision. So how exactly is it that you're able to channel elemental energy? It was a very strange phenomenon. Phenomen uh, something strange happened. Words are hard. It's okay. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't judge you, Paimon. English is. Yeah, it's hard sometimes. All right, can I climb up here? No, I don't think you can like climb normally in dungeons. So can I even get up there? Dodge this. I uh, mean, yeah, no, freezing the thing doesn't really help. However, did that do anything? No. Thrower's core is what gives it the energy to shoot fire. These cars will attempt to disable from Thrower's core to stop them from shooting fire. Simple enough. Ah, mimic. I mean, like the chest itself. It was more like a trapped chest oh, than it was a mimic. Finally, we're here. Seems the path ends here. Let's use the wind currents to fly up. in the center of the room is a hydro amber. Breaking it will make it rain, making everything in its range wet. Okay. So that would help with this. Nope, not that. Hit the thing. Yeah. Water! We can use this to put out fire. Good idea. That's some keen observation. We should get Jean to give you a title and make you a knight. Wait, oh, all the other ones just disappeared. Weird. Don't hit the torch. Hit the barrels. Yeah. 
experience. That's cool. I like that. Speaking of, did you know? Storm Terror was once one of the four winds. I'm not aware of the exact details. If you're interested, you can ask the acting grandmaster about it. Keep hitting the wrong buttons and stuff, and I still can't really. with any of his stuff right now. I guess because I am still... He's still in my party as a quote-unquote trial, so, yeah. Is that the thing that Storm Terror is using to gain its power? Seems probable. Let's deal with it. Easily Bravo. dealt with. What a performance. You are, to my surprise, a well-trained knight. The battles you just fought were sights to behold. I see you already have the knightly virtue of modesty. The stories of your heroic deeds to save Mondstadt from destruction shall be known throughout the City of Freedom, well into the future. Please do visit me at our headquarters when you have the time. I also know a lovely tavern, if that's more your thing. I like taverns. Never been to one in real life, but I like them in video Quite games. Quite rewarding. No? We've seized another temple from Storm Terror's grasp. I can take care of the rest here. You go take care of other things while I'm at it. See you later then. Bye-bye. There's no way Hilly Turtles organized an ambush like this themselves. Not with their limited mental capacity. Oh. <laughs> Spooky. Thus you were behind this. What? Hello. Uh, I like you. Hello. Hypophonius, always so inefficient. Agree to disagree, but your involvement in this just made things a whole lot more interesting. I agree. Oh, oh, is that it? I don't get to know who the cool redhead is. All right. Uh, fine. It'll be another time, perhaps, then. Tamed Kea. Wait. Well, it's weird, then, that he's in my party, but we didn't really get an answer as to what was just happening there. Dodge this. Oh, now I can collect these. Sweet. So, let's see. Traveling Doctor's Owl Feather. Equip that. Adventure's Flower. I'll give you the traveling doctor thing just because. Yeah. Crit rate. Base attack. Healing bonus. Get the base attack. for my character? No. Alright. Got that. Let's keep on keeping on then. To the next temple. Oh yeah, how do I check my currencies? my inventory. 
So I have a lot of like gold, and I don't know what the little like star thing is. Currency used to purchase rare resources from the closed beta shop, surplus stardust of destiny. Maybe it can create new destinies when in large enough quantities. So shop. Okay, so. Purchase with Primo Gems. You can get those fate things that you need for the summon gotcha stuff. Uh, and then you can also get some equipments and whatnot with a lot of the uh, whatever this stuff was called. I already have Kea, so I could get the only other character is Barba. But I don't have enough. What's an intertwined fate? Probably don't want to buy any of these right now. I didn't know you were such a slacker. You talk you talking to me? No, I don't know who he's talking to. Hopefully not me. Dull blade. I don't know if that I think that's already what I have equipped. Yeah. I guess I can fast travel if there's a thing nearby it. Um, no, not really. We're already pretty close to the one that we could teleport to. So, let's just keep on trekking. for this fire to go away before I can <laughs> get to the chest. Oh, okay. Or just, you know, go stand in the fire anyways. Smart. Nice enemies, so I probably need to switch to you. Yep. Oh, I really like the interplay between characters so far. It's nice. Like, it actually gives you a reason to switch between your characters because of, like, the elemental, you know, advantages and disadvantages. And, I mean... You know, even though, like, two of my characters use swords so far, like, the abilities that they have, like, magic-wise are different enough that it's, like, interesting. Okay, I don't know if... Electro Crystal, okay. Sure thing. Whoa. Just like a floating island up there. That's cool. 
Alright, what do we got going on over here? Some water lads. Freeze. Melt reaction melt. Melt, tri melt itself does not inflict damage, however, the pyro or cryo attack that triggers melt deals increased damage. So if I freeze something and then use fire, it melts. Got it. Makes sense. Adventurer's flower. Oh, that might be something for my character. Or, no. Do I already have a flower? I do. Which one do I have, though? Adventurer's flower? Yeah, well, I'm going to give him this one. And then... Okay. Nice. Boat radish. Okay, we need to get up there. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to necessarily climb this mountain, but uh, I can certainly try. Might want to deal with this. Well, if I can, you know, get up here. Wait a minute. What is this? <clears throat> I don't know if this is like an entrance to a cave or what. Oh no, just a chest under it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Need some more. Iron chunks. for sure. We gotta go... Is there a path? Yeah, but we would have to... We'd have to go around, like, the edge of this mountain, really, if we want to get to it. That's fine. this. Ooh. I like it. I've just got rotating ice arrows around me. Yeah, well, I found my favorite character so far. As much as I like archery, usually. Ice prevails over even archery for me. Sometimes we get the, the blessed combo of an archer who also uses ice. But, uh, yeah. Oh. Dodge this. Push your... Dodge this. Also, wind currents. That's nice of them. Because now I can... Oh. Well. I was gonna say I can use my glider, but then the wind currents went away, so... Never mind.
knocked him off. five and level six. Level seven. Oh wait, no no no. Let's level my main guy up some. How many do I have? Twenty one, so Use one more. And then one, two, three, five. I didn't mean to do another one. Whoops. Level you up some seven. Okay. And then I guess I'll use like one or two more on you. Okay. path is right up there, so it'll be much easier to get to the temple if we just go up there. I think this is the path, right? Yeah, we can kind of just follow this and then be right where we need to be. Push your luck. All right. Bandana. All the loots. Oh, we should consolidate what artifacts I have now. I think everybody can have like a two star one now. Yeah, because so I can give one to. How much adventure stuff do I have? I can give... So I need to... Hold on. Wait. Whoops. Wrong button. Again. Oh my god. I keep pressing the wrong stuff. So I need to give... You another adventure one. So I'm going to give you one of these adventure goblet thingies. So I can get the four-piece set bonus. And then... Uh... 
you have two and four for adventure. Or no, you have just the four adventure one. So. You have one right now. A traveling doctor's handkerchief. Well, no, wait. So, give you one of the traveling doctor's things here, and then give you another one of the traveling... Oh, but then she wouldn't have the adventures bonus thing, right? Oh, no, she would still have the tail feather. So, yeah, we can do... Uh, base attack? Yeah, sure. Oh no, now she doesn't have the four piece bonus. Hmm. Whatever, I'll just give her that then. If I give you that, you have two and two. Okay, that's fine. Huh. Uh freeze. Okay, guess I can't do anything about that for now. Almost the temple. Oh hey, one of these things. I'll follow it. for me, mysterious spirit thingy. <laughs> okay. No, uh, no enemies this time. A great sword that I can't use, because it seemed like that redhead is the one who uses great swords. But I don't know him yet. Lisa. Hey, cutie. Uh, hi. You're going to help me out, too? How kind of you. Don't hesitate to come to me if you need anything. Hmm. Good question. Well, because Jean trusts me, so you should as well. Uh, alright. Well, this should be the last temple. Let's do it. I guess I could give this a go. Wait, do I get to play as Lisa? Oh, I do. Sweet. I don't know what you have, but you're, it. I guess, a, a magician. Strong elemental energy coming from deep within this temple. Paimon, are you able to oh, nice. across? She's like books. Can't do much even if Ooh, she does. That's cool. Good point. We'd better start looking. Let's ride this wind current, shall we? <laughs> the book just floats behind you. I, I like that. Magic is cool.
Who'd have thunk, right? Okay, I kind of have to charge it, though, if I want to break the boxes with it. Come a little closer. Oh, nice. I have, like, an AoE field around me. Cool. Has a long cooldown, though. And a long charge. But they might take damage when it's charging. I don't know. We'll have to see. Leave it to me. Kind of like how she blinks backwards when casting as well. Ow. Oh. oh, that's electric. Okay. I thought it was dark, maybe. Let me try to activate it with a bit of electro power. Stand back, sweeties. Gotta kill this thing. No, it's not gonna die. Damn it. Can I try again? Can I try again, but this time maybe like actually use my right trigger ability, like ASAP? the water most likely electricity intermittently arcs off of electro charge being shocking hydro affected enemies nearby when electro meets hydro electro charged occurs electro charge continuously deals electro damage until it wears off well that's pretty good Arcing damage between targets. When it comes to wet enemies, I've got them covered. Yeah. Uh, all right then. I'm just gonna let that one speak for itself. Oh, another wind current. Let's ride it up from here. Lots of wind in these dungeons. That's good for us. Dungeon vegetables. Delicious. Come a little closer. The electrical discharge caused by friction is only a little oh, no. shocking no, 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 no. first sight. I like an electricity lantern that I place. If they get close to it, it shocks them. That's cool. For my, like, charge ability. Also, I should eat something. Oh, you want to know about this gem? Uh, what? No, I don't even know what you're talking about. Let's heal up, though. You're kidding. You're seriously asking? This is a vision. The necklace that I have on? It's used by the Chosen to draw on elemental powers. In okay. terms of mysticism, I suppose you could call it a magical lightning rod. Assuming that's what she's talking about when she's talking about a gem. More wind. Yep. Wait. Maybe? Yeah, okay. What? You've never seen a vision? Just where exactly are you from? 
Are you a hilly churl with some level of reasonable intelligence? No, I doubt it. After all, hilly churls aren't exactly known for their smarts. And you, you more or less qualify to be a magister's apprentice. Break it, and we can head home and relax. <sighs> the thought of putting my feet up and relaxing has me all fired up. Pocket Grimoire. Oh, I wanted to see what... Dragon of the East, Lion of the South, Wolf of the North, Falcon of the West. They are the four winds of Mondstadt, affiliated with Barbados, the god of Animo. The Dragon of the East, Storm Terror, its real name is Devalin. Though most in Mondstadt seem to have forgotten that in all this storm terror business. So now you know why Devalin is only able to channel three of the four winds' power. Because it has been consuming itself from the beginning. Because of hatred, I presume. Hatred? Hatred for Mondstadt. Hatred drove it to become something more powerful than the wind itself. To become storm terror. But why would one of the four winds hate the city it was supposed to protect? Uh... As a child of Mondstadt, it's something that's really hard to say aloud. Here, take this. It's a very old story from more than a century ago. Pocket grimoire. Breeze emits the forest supplement, the dragon tome. Hang on. Oh, well, trial, right, so... I have to probably leave the dungeon before she actually joins my party. Probably, probably. Possibly, maybe. Oh, hey, the wind is gone. We did it. There's no longer a giant tornado in the city. <laughs> Prologue Act 1 complete. The Outlander who caught Ew, the wind. It's finally done. Well, all that lay flow and elemental line stuff Lisa was going on about should hopefully be back to normal. Want to go back and see how the knights are doing? But if you've got anything more interesting to do, Paimon can come too. By the way, we obtained another Animunculus in one of the Four Winds temples, right? We might come across more of them in the future, so don't forget to offer them to the statues. Prologue Act 2 for Tomorrow Without Tears. You improve your adventuring by offering Anoculi to statues of the Seven, unlocking waypoints, seeking out chests in the open world, completing quests, and clearing domains. You can improve your... Yeah. Press to call Pyme on your adventure rank. Adventure rank 7. Okay. Grab one of that. Alright. Uh, well, let's see. Now is she in my party? Yeah, she is. Adventures, traveling doctors, owl feather. Okay. And then I can give you artifacts. And give you the traveling doctor stuff, most likely. So we've done that, and... Oh my. Archon quests. Quest unlocks at Adventure Rank 10. Is 
So there's a lot of things I can do. Okay, well, we've done, like, most of the opening for now. So I think this is going to be a good stopping point for now. Take a look at that view. It's pretty nice. But yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and stop for now. Um, I may play some of this off stream. Um, but, I mean, this is just the beta, so it's not like it's really going to matter since the progress will be deleted after it's done. So, yeah. But I probably will try and play some more of this tomorrow. I just might be ahead a little bit, but we'll see. Anyways, though, let's see. How do I actually hold to quit? 